Let's look at some more example of the shared pointers. We have a shared pointer P1, and P1 is managing the dog gunner, and shared pointer P2 is managing the dog tank. And when P1 and P2 go out of the scope, both gunner and tank will be deleted. Tank will be deleted first, because both P1 and P2 are stored on the stack, and the tank is on top of the stack. Now if we do P1 equal to P2, and both P1 and P2 are pointing to tank, and so the gunner is deleted at this point, because there's no shared pointer pointing to gunner anymore. Same thing if I do P1 equal to now pointer, gunner also will be deleted. Or I can do P1 dot reset. It resets the pointer of P1 to be empty, and then gunner is deleted. So if any one of the three things happens, gunner will be deleted. As I said last time, it is usually preferred to use the make shared function to create a shared pointer. But sometimes you have to use a shared pointer's constructor to create a shared pointer. One such case is when you want to have a custom deleter. Now what is a custom deleter? Let's look at this case. When P1, the shared pointer, goes out of scope, it will call some delete function to delete the dog gunner. And that delete function is called a deleter. And by default, that deleter is the operator delete. So in this case, it is using default deleter operator delete. And sometimes you want to use a different deleter. And if that's the case, you have to use the constructor of the shared pointer to create the shared pointer. P2 equal to shared pointer dog new dog tank. You have seen this function before. But now, instead of ending the function here, we're going to specify a second parameter for the constructor of the shared pointer, which is the deleter. And we're going to use the lambda function for that. This function will take a pointer of dog. And suppose we're going to print out something, let's call it custom deleting. And then we'll just delete the dog P. And we're missing a comma here. Now if we run the program, and as you see, the dog tank is deleted with the custom deleter, and gunner is deleted with the default deleter. There is one case where the custom deleter is actually very important to have. Suppose we have shared pointer dog p3, which is constructed with new dog 3. So this will create an array of dogs. And in this case, new dog 3 will return a dog's pointer, which points to the first dog. So as a result, P3 is a shared pointer that is only managing the first dog. So when P3 goes out of the scope, only the first dog is deleted. And the other two dogs are leaked. So dog 1 and dog 2 have memory leak. So in this case, we need to use a custom deleter shared pt dog p4 which create a dog and then we use the second parameter to define the custom deleter dog pointer p and it calls the array delete to delete p 
and in this case, all three dogs will be deleted when P4 goes out of scope. Now let's talk about another function of shared pointer. The shared pointer has another function called get. And this function returns the raw pointer, which points to the object that the shared pointer is managing. So in this case, we have a dog pointer, D, will be returned. And as I said before, once you have created an object and assigned it to a shared pointer, you should avoid using the raw pointer again because the raw pointer provides you many ways of shooting yourself on the foot. For example, if I do a delete D, then dog gunner will be deleted. But when P1 goes out of scope, the dog gunner will be deleted again, which is undefined behavior. Or if I do shared pointer dog P2, which is constructed from D, and then when P2 goes out of scope, the dog gunner will be deleted. And when P1 goes out of scope, dog gunner will be deleted again. And suppose we have an object called dog house, which call function called save dog, and we pass it D to this function. And even if we don't have these bad boys in the way, when P1 goes out of scope, the dog gunner will be deleted. So the dog house will end up holding a dangling pointer. So this is why you should avoid using the raw pointer once you have created the shared pointer. And if you really have to use the raw pointer again, make sure you know what you're doing and use it with extra care. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos I have. See you next time.